Hello everyone, welcome back to Toon Revival. Normally I would uh, not do this, but we're trying something a little bit different today. I was going to bring you back for the final game of the season against Liverpool, but we had such an absolutely fantastic game against Watford that I had to bring you in and just show you uh, what was going on here. Unbelievable scenes down at St James's Park where the, uh, the game has ended 5-0 to Newcastle. Look at those stats, you can see it was... It was a strange game. It was a very counter-attacking game. We've only managed 96 passes in the entire match. Watford with 138. We only had 40% of the uh, of the possession. But look at those shots. Eight shots, eight on target. Unbelievable. Um, I, I, I just don't understand how we could play so well. But I'm going to take you into the highlights so you can see all of these goals. And uh, straight from the kickoff. We just immediately got the ball rolling. Shelby into Allen, back to Shelby, edge of the area, right foot, slots it into the bottom hand corner. 1-0 after three minutes. It was a very nicely constructed, well taken goal. Quite a simple goal, just a bit of give and go. Uh, but it just opened up nicely for him and uh, Shelby tucks it away for one of the very few goals he scored for me, if any. I think that might actually be his first goal for us. This second goal, I am very very happy with uh, when I played the ball in with Almiron I did actually have Joel Linton uh, under my control but I cancelled out of that got hold of Henriks and he just took it on his right thigh opened his body up and put it into the bottom corner uh, this goal just pure counter attacking got it down the wing into the middle and Allen with his first goal of the game then Watford started to show their teeth a little bit. Pereira with a shot just from outside the area. We managed to block that one off, thankfully. And that actually sparked another counter-attack, which led to this goal right here. I don't know if that was actually the counter-attack in question, but again, just beautiful passing. Uh, the link-up between Joel Linton and Allen really paying off. And with a little touch of the R2 button, we just managed to slot that into the bottom-hand corner. Uh, Welbeck in the 54th minute gets a shot on goal from quite close in and somehow manages to miss it from all of six yards out. Very, very happy to see that go wide. And then Pereira again from uh, outside the box taking uh, a free kick which didn't work out for them. Muto then came on. Uh, I thought I'd try and give him uh, a bit of a go and wouldn't you know he popped up with a goal in the 63rd minute. Uh... Hopefully that's going to increase his value. I don't think he's going to be with the club for an awful long time. Uh, but still, it was nice to see him get a chance. And then this was Alan's chance to get his hat-trick and unfortunately fluffed it. Well, he didn't fluff it. I mean, it's a very good block from the, uh, the Watford defender there. And there you go. That is everything. Uh, now, before we go any further, I am actually going to uh, just save that Henrik's goal because I like his goal a lot and I'm just going to save it for posterity. Oh no! Don't tell me you can't save it. Oh, we can save it. Fantastic. So yeah, I'm just going to save that goal, just for posterity. There we go, that's done. Let's take another look at it. You see the fake out by Joel Linton, Richie leaves it, and the control from Henriks, for a right back, that is like predatory. That's absolutely fantastic technique from the man. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That was the, uh, the highlights from the Watford match. And now, after that, we are going to uh, head back into the main menu, have a look at what's going on in the club, and uh, then we're going to crack on with the final game of the season against Liverpool, who have just beaten Everton 4-1. Fantastic. OK. Uh, as things stand in the league, we have an outside chance of finishing in Europe. We need to win against Liverpool, which is a tall order indeed. Uh, they, they are the top scorers in the league this season, narrowly edging out Chelsea. But um, we're not too bad in front of goal ourselves. Our main problem is keeping them out at the other end. We need Manchester United to lose their next match. I don't know who that's against, but I hope they're playing a big guy. Let's see if we can find out. I don't know if there's a way of seeing all of the fixtures. There must be, surely. Let's go into the database. 
competition info England Premier League no doesn't look like it that's annoying Well, I guess we're just going to have to hope that whoever's playing them can do the job for us. Um, incidentally, we have had a offer from Bournemouth. Obviously, this isn't called Cherry Revival. This is called Toon Revival. We won't be taking that offer. Uh, we've received offers for a few players. Uh, Dubravka, Shah, and Longstaff as well. Longstaff continues to um, not want to sign a contract with us I did play him in a game that took place off camera and uh, he did okay but I, I think that we can probably improve on him and probably get someone of the same similar kind of uh, age uh, type so I think we're probably going to end up letting Longstaff go if we can get a decent offer for him let's have a look at what the offers are okay so Dubravka Wolves are offering above his market value Hmm. Now here's the thing, in the off season I could be tempted to cash in on Dubravka. I've got my eyes on another goalkeeper, uh Schubert, uh, the German. Um we'll see about that. Shah, share, however you want to say it. I got you, babe. Uh that's a good offer from Watford, but honestly, I don't see any reason to get rid of him. He's pretty solid and even if we did buy an improvement on him, I think Cher would probably end up being a really good option from the bench or back up for, for to Tebow. Uh, come to think of it, we do have to start playing to Tebow, otherwise he's never going to bed in. So I think we're going to reject those two offers. And this offer for Longstaff, 4.8, are you taking the piss? No, I'll tell you what, if you want him, you can have him, but you're going to have to pay a lot of money and you're going to have to give us 20% of the signing fee. Of the uh, of of his next uh, transfer fee, I mean. That's going to be that. Let's just end the negotiations on these two. Don't want to get rid of them. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, what have the scouts turned up for us? Dan Juma. Okay. He's a good player. Cabral, he's decent, he is very good, he's very speedy, his passing leaves a lot to be desired though and that's something that we do need, so we'll probably take a pass on him. Now here's the goalkeeper that I was talking about, Vadonk has just been, hmm, He's a very good all-round left-back. I'm looking for an upgrade on Dummett. We've started getting offers for him, and having played with him in the last few games off-camera, his lack of pace is really unsettling the system that we're playing. So, as much as I like Dummett, and as much as he does give us options at centre-back as well as left-back, if we could get Verdonk in, I think that's an upgrade. I really do think that's an upgrade. going to keep him on the list. Okay, so this is Schubert. He's valued at 6.3. He's got a release of 7.2. So we'd be paying a million pound to uh, trade in goalkeepers. He's not rated as highly as Dubravka, but look at the age on him. He's only 22 years old. Uh, this Schalke 4 player, he could really be something. And he's very solid across the goalkeeping uh, category. If you look at that, he's, he's not got a single stat below 80. Uh, he's very injury resistant, which I don't know if injury resistance is such a problem for goalkeepers, honestly. Uh, but looking at his form, his form is actually quite good. His weak fo foot accuracy is excellent, so if we do need to have him play out from the back uh, under pressure, then at least we know that when he tries playing it on his left side, he should be okay. So he is on the list, and he's someone that I'm looking to probably bring in in the summer. Depending on the wage budget, I might bring him in as a replacement for uh, our other goalkeeper. Darlow, who is okay, but he's 30 years old already, which for a goalkeeper doesn't matter so much. He's probably got another good five years in him, but you look at that, he's flatlining, he's not going to get any better. And we need we need goalkeepers, we need players in general that are going to improve. 
Um, and immediately, like, the only thing that he really beats Schubert on is goalkeeper reflexes. And give it a couple of years, and Schubert's going to absolutely ace that. So I think probably what we're going to end up doing is probably let go of Darlow and bring in Schubert and then see if Dubravka is happy sitting on the bench or maybe we rotate them on a regular basis, uh, play one in the Cups if we can actually beat teams from lower down the leagues. Who knows? But anyway, you're here to watch a football match, so let's get that on the go. Okay, that is a strong-looking Liverpool team. I'd say that is probably, with the exception of Firmino being on the bench, that is their strongest team, I would say. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, so what are we going to do in response? Well, Joel Linton, unfortunately, is not looking too hot at the moment. I might play him anyway. Although, actually, do you know what? Muto... No, fuck it. Mandzukic, he's our best striker. We've got to play him. We have to play him. Um, Atsu's going to stay on the outside of the bench. To Thibaut. Hmm. Okay, Dummett's going to give us some cover at centre-back. Uh, I think that is pretty much what we want, right? I think we're going to go with that. Again, Shelby playing a little bit deeper, hoping to give us some cover in midfield. Playing this, this is a very attacking formation, and if they get in behind us and in between our lines, we're going to be in trouble. So, hopefully, that moving of uh, Shelby to uh, central midfield role and dropping him slightly well, we further back will fill the gap and uh, give them something to think about. In every sense of the world, the sun is out, and, and above all else, I just hope that we can get on the score sheet nice and early. Oh, for goodness' sake, they're playing in black and white. Days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been Why? Why would you do that? So very, very long, and it means so very, very much. The scene could okay, well, I, I think we can discern who's who, Olympic. so we should the be okay. Oh, they are playing high-pressing straight away. I don't know if that's good for us or not. It does mean that they overcommit their front line to... The of all Hang on, just got to concentrate really for a second, boys. A very special feel to it. And already we're underway here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Mario Mandzukic could impact on this. He okay. won't delight us with, with his skills or, or show blinding pace. But okay, so as I was saying, the high press might actually work to our benefit as long as we can oh, get in no, behind them with a quick counter-attack. I am Henrik's playing possession football to play according to the uh, uh, the options on the menu. The but I found that actually, even with sure. possession football... Uh, Selected. Mohamed Salah, he's got away. Oh my God, Salah is just an absolute goes. handful. Um, even Liverpool with the uh, uh, possession football option highlighted, goal. it seems that we're pretty decent at getting the ball forward quickly. So I'm not too worried necessarily about uh, about changing that. I think you know we're settled in a system. We know how Liverpool our team plays using that system. So let's not so upset the apple cart. He's Come on, through. Richie, give him something to think about. Alisson Unlucky, son. Claim to that. Alexander Arnold. Liverpool have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's, okay, that's, that's a good win. So, what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt. And that's a bad loss. Opinion, to win it back. Go on, son. Well done. They're not expecting. Oh, we're just not hanging on to it in the middle of the pitch. And here's Mohamed Salah. That's going out for a corner. We've just got to try and soak up pressure and hit him on the break. Maybe I will have to eventually change it to counter-attacking football. For the time being, I think we're okay. And he's there to clear it. And it's Henderson. Now it's Milner. Oh my god, one of my players has taken it off of the other and set up a chance for them. Luckily the deflection has put it out of play, but that could have ended up anywhere. Oof.
great leap. Okay, that's fine. Let it go out. Let it go out. Let it go out. Super oh, Council's done the, the job for us. That'll be a goal kick. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that Liverpool player behind. Have been defending beautifully lately. Hoists it forward. It's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Richie. Almiron spreads it yeah, This colour clash is really starting to play me about. Keeper sends it forward. He's played him through. Uh oh, come on, get on him. First time chance, and good oh, lord. Good it lord. Outside of the left boot, with cup. that kind of power and that kind of accuracy, that is ridiculous. Oh, lucky. Just needed to wait a fraction of a second longer. Uh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and it's just giving him a better chance of running onto the ball. We're under the cosh here. There's no no two ways about it. We are properly under the cosh. And he just whacks it away. And here's Come on, boys. Now it's Don't let them have it. Oh, my God. Away from immediate danger. Got away with that one. And here's Mane. Almiron really has been in sparkling form, hasn't he? No we'll hear plenty of rumours about him when the transfer window opens. I think so. Finding it very, very difficult. Oh my word! Finding it very difficult to play through this Liverpool midfield. They are very good defensively. And if you can hear the dog in the background, I apologise. The fucker will not shut up. Gets it back. That's our throw. Continue to build up. Hayden. If anyone is going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. Share. Okay, we've got Williams. a little bit of room on the wing here, so let's try something. This is promising. Gets away from his opponents. It's defending, but that'll do. It's one. Ah, I thought he was offside, and indeed That's he was. Offside. Yes, it is. Allison sends that a long way. And we're not winning that ball in midfield. Alexander Arnold looks to clip it forward. Shakiri. I think the best that we can really hope for here is a draw. The way that they're playing at the moment, they're absolutely imperious. Mandzukic. Ball through Unless. needs to be good here. Willems. Shot a goal! You can get that clear. Choncho Shelby. Oh well, that wasn't a bad first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So there was the first half. Newcastle really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half, and while they'll be disappointed not to have broken through, obviously, the chances will come, provided they can keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more right, positive than to put negatives, pressure on them. Come on. 
goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, the first half didn't really yes, produce go the on. goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second half. Unlucky. Case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. And he's there to clear it. And here's Shelby. Almer. I'm wrong. Oh, my word. Oh, what defending. Great defending. Almiron. Almiron's cross. Looking for a decent ball in. In again. Oh, my word. Oh, he's offside. offside. Oh my goodness me. That would have been the most spectacular of goals. <laughs> it didn't go in anyway. Allison Wouldn't have counted either way. Field. Play for a throw. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And that is as far as they're going to go. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Oh, Whistle's come on. Mane. Goes for goal. Nil nil the score, and we're just about done. A deeply frustrating game. And it's Richie. Needed a better pass there. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, well won by Lascelles. There's a long ball. A reprieve. And under pressure, they've had to put it out for a throw. Come on now, boys. Offside again. Shelby pops it into the area. Offside, maybe? No. He's found his man. Got a chance here. Go on, Richie. Shot. What kind of shot was that? Oh, that was oh nice, my word. Not quite the end that was disappointing. That was the tamest of shots. Of good lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. He's uh -oh. in surely. Oh dear. Ballet. Milner. It's a good-looking cross. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Chance! Oh, good take from the He's keeper. To make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Willems plays it forward. Over to the left. Liverpool will certainly be confident after that win in the local derby. Willems. Gorgeous control there. Steered forward. Mm. Amateur play. Good challenge, he just stood Oh, firm. I've given that away. And it's two on two. Shakiri. And here's Mane. Oh, they've got, they're all over us. Good Lord. Ball's loose, and he's after it. There are a few waiting for it. Robertson plays it in. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. A really good feat. Uh, Look, this can still go either I'm not way. sure how it that's not a foul, foul honestly. Way, but there's still time for some effort. He might have got the ball, but he got a lot more of the man there. And apparently all I have to do is breathe on an opposition player to give a, a free kick away, so... Robertson could try cutting inside here. And here's Mane. Ah, it's a free kick. It's frustrating. Liverpool merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Tries to dink it in, and it's Mandzukic. 
getting each well, other's way. For Christ's sakes, call for it. For Somebody shout here, for the ball. Although there's still a chance for one last fling. Oh my goodness. And now the breakaway. And here's Mane. Mohamed Salah going for goal. Oh, that is yes, so annoying. Time and space are plenty. And that completely to puts paid to our chances of finishing Fine in the top six. Finish, but we have to credit the pastor to so, so irritating. But at the end of the day, it was just well, silly defending from me. Line, Can't really blame the boys for that. Well, he's worked so hard for a side, uh, as you would expect. But you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit. So it's no surprise. Liverpool take the lead. I don't think now that any of these substitutions are going to have on. a chance to take place, listen, but I'm going to throw a few on just in case. The, stadium now. the feeling is very much job done. Van Dijk. Matted. No. So that's it. Well, that's it. it is all over. That you is it for the 2019-2020 season. So what we've just or is it 2020? Well, no, it is 2019 2020. In my career, there was always a call for ending the season on a winning note. So, if we're lucky, we will probably have finished. Oh, it's a little bit unfair of the crowd to be whistling them like that. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim. So there we go. Goodbye. There we go. Well, I don't know if that's a better season we, we could expect to see from Newcastle in real life. I really don't. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, Oh man, Liverpool absolutely caned us, didn't they? Look at that, 10 shots to three. We didn't get a single one on target. I'm especially upset with that Richie shot. I mean, that was tame as anything. That was tame as a kitten. But there we go, never mind. Ratings, Cher gets a 4.5. I don't know if he, I don't think he played that badly. That's a little bit harsh on the boy. Uh, Salah quite rightly getting a 7.5 Mane getting a 7.5 I didn't think he necessarily contributed that much but there we go and let's have a look at how the league table finishes as a result if Man United lost that's going to be so frustrating oh they drew I don't think that would have man mattered in the long run but there we go so who wins the league on that basis Chelsea win the league 85 points Liverpool missing out by a point again Manchester City on 83 points and Tottenham a little way behind on 77. Arsenal into the Europa League with 69 points. Manchester United Europa League with 64 points. And Newcastle United just missing out by three points on 61. But we finished seventh. I think that that's a pretty decent return for the season. Uh, I think we've got a much better squad than we did at the start of the year. A little bit smaller, but definitely better. Much more talent in there. And I, for one, am really looking forward to sharing the next season with you. So until then, when we go over our transfers and uh, play the first game of next season, thank you very much for joining me. Take care, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.